Hey guys, um, I'm here to do a weekly update, even though it's been three weeks. Anyways, um, so I have finished two things since the last time that I did this, and hopefully I will actually do this every week. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Uh, it's just life. But anyways, uh, so I did finish um, the Paris Review uh, issue 221. This was um, the summer 2017 that just came out. Um, the rest of it was fine. Uh, the only like m super memorable things that I have are um, there's an art, an artist that they um, showcase, and his name is Hervin Anderson, and his artwork is so beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous that is. My the only sad thing for me is with like these that are um, like full page spreads that it's. I hate that there's um, like the crease in the middle because of the the pages, but. It is so beautiful. He um, is English, but is of like Jamaican um, heritage. So he's got um, like these beautiful, bright colors. It's it's gorgeous. Um, there was also um, an interview by Ali Smith, which you know was very good. Surprise, surprise. And um, there was a story by Julie Oringer um, called Neighbors that was really good about um, a uh, a woman who owns like an apartment type of complex, I guess, but her tenant below her, or it's her second floor tenant, I'm not sure, but she, like, is kind of suspecting him of maybe doing some, some, like, not good things, and it's, it was really good, um, very interesting, um, I did not enjoy, there was, like, I just, I, again, I don't get it, but this poetry that is, like, broken up like this with huge spaces in between words, I just don't get it, I don't get it. I don't understand it, and yeah, so anyways, uh, that was really good. I feel like, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to read as many different types of literary journals as I can, and so hopefully I can talk about that at some point later. Um, I just got a new issue of something today, so very excited. Um, I also finished Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Foer. <sighs> I don't even know. I feel like this book is for a very specific type of population. Like, it for me, basically. People who eat meat but who know that they shouldn't, like, because of, like, moral reasons. I The way that we treat animals is horrendous. And so it's definitely making me reevaluate my um, consumption of meat. I have tried to become a vegetarian four times in the past. I think the longest I've lasted is four months. I have no self-control. And I guess I think that my pleasure is more important than an animal suffering. Um, obviously, that's not true, but in the moment, you're not really thinking about it. And I'm very, very lazy, so I feel like being lazy and having poor self-control is the main reasons that I eat meat. I feel sick if I eat too much meat. Um, I'm going to try to limit myself to maybe, like, making one, because I, I cook most of the food that I eat, um, to maybe like making one meat dish like every two weeks and being really conscious about where I'm getting my meat from and making sure that it's from um, like good sources and not factory farms. Factory farms are horrible. I feel like being in Portland, Oregon makes that a little bit like easier. It's easier to get meat um, from not garbage sources, so that's good. Um, but yeah, this was, this was interesting. Um, there, it, it made me very sad and, and sick to my stomach at certain points um, talking about the way that animals are treated. So, I don't know. I feel like you either know or don't know if you want to read this book. I feel like if you already are a vegetarian or vegan, it's not really going to enlighten you at all. And I feel like if you're, like, hardcore eating meat, it's not really going to affect you either because you... <laughs> probably don't care. No, that's mean. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like this isn't really gonna do anything for people that are on like either side of the spectrum very heavily. Um, it's more for people that are kind of like, mm, like, like me. So yeah, I thought it was an enjoyable, I mean, it wasn't enjoyable. It was sad, but it was an interesting read, I guess. Um, I'm very interested, I feel like in eating or not eating, uh, reading about the food that we eat because, you know, what we eat is what we are, so important. Uh, those are the other things that I finished. I am still working on Negroland. At this point, I'm, like, not reading anything. I think I've read maybe 20 or 40 pages in the last week. I'm, I don't know. Um, this is still very good, and now I have a friend that wants to borrow this from me, so that's kind of, like, a little bit more of a motivation. Hopefully, I'll finish it by the end of the, the month, uh, but... Again, we'll find out later. And I still haven't been reading Tar Baby by Toni Morrison. I'm supposed to be doing this as a buddy read with Kathleen Ann and Jeremy. I think that I'm still um, 
because of what's happened to me, I'm just not really able to focus on complicated writing, and uh, Toni Morrison is a very complex writer. Uh, her It's beautiful and wonderful, but you really, really have to focus and concentrate, and I just don't think that I'm in the right headspace for that, unfortunately, right now. So um, maybe tomorrow, I don't, I, I start work quite late, so maybe I'll just like sit down and try to be like in quiet and read this, um, and hopefully I'll get more done, but I, I, it's, it feels like I'm just reading words on a page, but I'm not really absorbing anything that I'm reading. And uh, that's not awesome because I want to pay attention because uh, Tony Morrison is fantastic. So it just might not be the right time. I might need to put that one down. Um, and then also I did get uh, my copy of National Geographic, The Science of Addiction. I mentioned um, kind of, I don't know how recently that I was, I became obsessed with magazines and I subscribed to a ton of stuff, but they're just piling up and it's really bad. So I'm, I'm really trying to make more of an effort to read the magazines that I'm getting. Um, this was really good. Um, I started reading it immediately because of the, the front here, but I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be. I don't know if it's because I went to nursing school and so I already know that stuff kind of that's mentioned in here, um, but it's talking about how, you know, our brains are like affected by the drugs and it's not just because people have low moral standards or whatever. People actually have like a physical need to consume these drugs, and I already kind of knew that, so I don't know. We'll see. There's um another. I'm this is I'm like halfway through it, and this next section looks like a C type thing, which looks really cool. Um, here's a person with their hands in the water next to a whale. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully, maybe I'll just sit down and read that right now. Um, so yeah, those are all the things that I'm reading. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna pick up next. Because it's towards the end of the month, so I don't I don't want to start anything new because the new seasonal reading challenge starts and I, I can't really carry anything over um, and get points for it unless it's more than 500 pages. You don't care at all. But the point is, is that I don't want to start anything new right now until I finish Negro Land and hopefully Tar Baby. Um, so that is all that I have to say about the books that I've been reading. Now I'm going to show you some of my dad's books. Uh, the first one here is Sideways by Rex Pickett. I am going to assume that this was, yeah film from director Alexander Payne. Uh, this was made into a movie. I did not realize that it was a book, but I found it on my dad's shelf, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, and then I have Acquired Taste by Peter Mail. Uh, my dad gave me A Year in Provence to read, which I still haven't read. I feel like I should make an effort to read. My dad has given me quite a few books over the years, and I should try to make an effort to, to read those, because I don't think I read a single one while he was alive, so I feel kind of bad. But um, I know that my dad really, really likes Peter Mail. He likes basically any kind of travel writing because my dad loves traveling. Um, the next one that I have here is called Russia by David K. Shipler. Um, a provocative look at the Russian people. I don't know, but how can you say no to a cover like this, right? Um, and then, I don't, see, I don't even know what, what I was doing. Um, the New Deal and the Problem of Monopoly by Ellis W. Hawley. Um, so it's a study of the domestic economic program of the New Deal. I don't know. We'll see if, if this happens. I kind of was, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but in a panic mode and I just grabbed, because like once it's gone, it's gone. So I just better, better grab more than I want and get rid of it later than get rid of things and then regret it. So, um, anyways, the next one that I have is Paris was ours. This is 32 writers reflect on the, excuse me, city of light, um, by um, edited by Penelope Rollins, and I think I looked in this, and let me see if I can find David Sedaris. I don't know. I guess I was hoping for older. I don't really recognize any of these writers. David Lee Woods. I, was, I guess I was thinking that it was going to be like older writers, but this looks like um, a newer book, so I guess I was just wishful thinking. And the last thing that I have here is chickens, koozies, and Cousin George. Again, some weird travel book, I assume. Um, yeah, living for five years in a small Arabic mountain village just outside Beirut, the Smiths made many friends, joined in their everyday living. So it looks like, um, let's see, so it's um, about Lebanese people. Well, yeah, Beirut, but <laughs> so uh, yeah, who knows? It's, it's quite short, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all that I have been reading and not really tons of what I plan to read because, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. The month is almost over and I'm kind of stressed. 
let me know what you've been reading, if it's anything good, um, if you've read any of these books, if you've read anything by um, Peter Mail or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Bye.